Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. I hope you guys can hear me. I don't want to talk too loud. It is late in the nighttime, but I just wanted to do a quick video about Peach McIntyre and this Kurt Geiger situation. First of all, I don't even know who they are. So if she is someone who feels that she has influence about them, hmm, she's not doing a very good job. I do watch her channel so that I can do commentary. And being that I watch a lot of her videos and watch pretty regular, you would think that I've seen her rock some of their stuff. Now, if that big furry pink purse of hers is a Kurt Geiger, then maybe I have. But that's the only purse that she showed in her little anger rant that I've actually seen her carry. I have never seen her wear the shoes. I have never seen her um, with these other purses. Now, she's upset because this company gave purses to moms for Mother's Day. And she feels that she should have gotten a purse. She feels that because not only is she a mom, she's a mom of seven kids. And that she loves the brand and tells people about it. This was her words. And what I simply have to say about that is um, clearly she didn't do a good job, number one. And number two, let's keep it real. Who would want her with the way that she puts herself out there, the way her hair looks, the way she dresses, the way she carries on, and all of the problematic things that she does? Why would they want her to represent the brand? Because obviously there's a certain um, type of individual they're looking for. The purse and the sneakers look like, um, I guess you would say Balenciaga knockoffs. I mean, that's just what I thought when I saw them. Balenciaga is not a brand that everybody would wear. Um, first of all, to even afford it, you need a, a sizable amount of money. So, I think that she really feels like just because she has 500,000 followers, that makes her somebody. Well, maybe it does because, I mean, she's been able to monetize the following. But the fact is, it didn't make her the right somebody. Fuck her, Geiger. And that just is what it is. She has not been successful at presenting herself in a way that they felt was good for their brand. And I don't even understand for as much of a marketing genius as she alleges to be, why is she even questioning that? It really doesn't make any sense. But I still want to know what you guys think about it. She is very angry that Kurt Geiger does not give her a free item, although they uh, sent her a message in one of her... Um, in one of her posts that she made saying that they love her, just probably because she spent money with them, but they didn't love her enough to send her a free bag. Well, maybe she's not their target audience, and maybe they don't feel that her audience is either. Tell me what you think, guys. We will definitely talk about this in the comments. And would you collaborate with Peach McIntyre if you had a business? I mean it. Would I, for my brand, Kush Online, she and some of her followers may be my target audience. I have a very low entry point to my items. I sell casual everyday looks um, for people of uh, plus sizes. So I don't know if she's plus, but she kind of looks it. But whatever the case is, um, maybe she does, but I wouldn't want to do business with her because I wouldn't be confident and feel confident that she would put the info to put the outfit out there that she would wear it that she would do her part in the collaboration so for me although she may be my target audience um I don't think she would make a good uh business collaboration tell me what you guys think we'll talk about it in the comments below see you in the next one bye